diesel fuel prices have shot up dramatically in the past year, increasing the cost of farm production. Michigan State University Extension educator Mike Staten is helping farmers minimize the adverse impact of higher fuel prices by ballasting their tractors. Proper ballasting ensures that the weight is distributed evenly between the front and rear axles. And ballasting, we're talking about weighting the tractor. The total weight on the tractor and where the weight is located, and the front axle and the rear axle. If you don't do that correctly, if you don't add the amount, right amount of weight and you don't distribute it correctly, you're going to be wasting fuel. You're either going to be too heavy, and then you're hauling around all that extra weight that you just don't need to be hauling around, and that's going to waste fuel. If you're too light, you're going to slip, and you're just not covering as much ground as you should like to cover. Using a portable weight scale, Mike found this tractor to be carrying more than a thousand pounds of excess fuel guzzling weight. What we found is that the front axle is overweighted on this tractor. You can see this row of suitcase weights. We could take every one of those right off. That's 1,200 pounds right off the front of the tractor. Just take that right off. The rear was really close, so I think we're in pretty good shape with this tractor on the rear. What they did is they used wheel weights on the rear, and they've got that just about right. One area that farmers often overlook is tire inflation. It's very common for people to make the assumption that tractor tires need to be inflated to a level similar to that of car or truck tires. When you think of getting maximum fuel efficiency on a vehicle, going down a hard road, you want to pump that tire up and minimize the amount of contact you have with that road and just roll. You're basically just rolling. On a tractor, it's the other way around. We're dealing with a soft soil surface that can give and so what we want to do is maximize our traction. And the way we do that is we let the air out of the tires and get a bigger footprint. Get that tire to make a bigger footprint on that soil, it's going to slip less. Mike Staten and his colleagues have created a fact sheet with even more tips for improving tractor fuel performance and fuel efficiency. You can find it on the web at www.msue.msu.edu. From Michigan State University, I'm Laura Proven reporting.